Good morning, everyone. So this morning I'm going to finish the doors. I'm going to paint them, then cut out the vent holes. Uh, while the paint is drying though, um, I'm going to start all the solar stuff. So uh, let's get going. Okay, so the doors are painted now, as you can see, and uh, it took a little bit longer than expected, just because the paint is kind of cold this morning, and uh, it cooled down quite a bit uh, while I was painting. Um, it's uh, layered out really well, and uh, it should go pretty smoothly for the second coat. So now let's get to the things outside, including the uh, solar control panel and all that. This is where the control panels are going to be. It's two 100 watt panels. The uh, control box is going to be right about here at the shoulder height. And then we will go from there. Uh, let's go get all the stuff. This is the uh, control this can be all solar stuff right in here. <clears throat> so at the top we have that uh, charge controller. This is a system we got off of Amazon. It is the Renogy energy system. They're 200 watt a kit. Right below the uh, charge controller we have a uh, 30 amp fuse block that will be coming from the solar array and then it will all be powering this uh, inverter now this inverter won't be used all the time um, it will be once we get all of the automation done but for now we are going to be running the fans just off of a 12 volt block. So pretty much directly to the, to the 12 volt battery. But I wanted to get the inverter bought and put in place for when we need, need it for all the extra things in the future. So next time you'll see this, it'll be out there near the kiln. Um, I have everything over here and, uh, let's see if I can get this up on my own. Could take a bit.
effects to get you in. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Got that up. So, you might be wondering why I have the uh, tops um, so much higher. I'm going to be extending for a peak, for a, like a lean-to roof on it. And then I'm going to be putting insulation on the top. There's already insulation on sides, back, and the uh, bottom. So I just thought this would be easier doing it this way. I just need to do the exact same thing on the bottom with the 2x4. And then it will be up and mounted. Okay, so I'm about to uh, put the panel piece up. The uh, 2 by 4 I should say, that's going to hold the panels. Um, so the panels are uh, 48 inches long by 24 each. So I'm going to need a few... I'm going to need four pieces that are uh, about 48 inches. Yeah, <laughs> math. So I'm going to be putting this first one on just below the flashing or I might overlap the flashing a little bit and then I can do the um, the other pieces so let's get those up okay so I have a piece cut here and uh, I'm gonna put it like this to uh, make sure I'm back far enough from the edge because I'm putting the uh, other pieces that are, will be coming out on the ends. <laughs> and there's the header, there's the header up here. right here is two two by fours yeah I ain't going in this okay so you might be wondering how I'm gonna support this I'm gonna be putting some 45 inch bracing at the bottom should work good I don't think it'll collapse at least I hope okay <coughs> box that will be holding them the panels will be on top of it and next i'm just going to do the uh 45 degree supports then it should be done okay so i got that one in place 
and I just need to figure out what I'm going to do about the bottom one. So I may just come, well, these are come straight down or it's not really a vertical support and put too much strain, but I probably could screw something to the box, to the uh, control box here. We'll figure something out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and put this bracing on to help with any racking we may have. I just cut two 45s in here, they're freehand. I'm driving down the empty freeway. should help a lot with uh, with any racking. I'm just gonna go and put one through here. Actually, this doesn't give it much uh, downpour support. Well, it does some, but not like uh, not like another one of these will. But honestly, we could put one here. It'd be better than nothing. Hey everyone, so we just finished doing the roof. Um, we just kind of skipped over it because it was raining a lot. And uh, we had to skip for a few days. It is now Sunday. And well, tomorrow is the video day. So, uh, but um, here it is. Uh, next is the, the fan baffles and the uh, finishing all the solar stuff. So I'm going to finish the solar in next week's video. Um, other than that, everything's going really well. Here's the roof all complete. Unfortunately, due to the, uh, the weather, I couldn't get out this week to do the, uh, the rest of the work for the solar um, but it, it will be in next week's video and it also in next week's video we, we will be um, filling the kiln with the first stacks and uh, going over the baffle system and all that and after that I'll probably do a separate video on the whole entire solar system and the uh, monitoring, <clears throat> the monitoring stuff. So until next week, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see ya.